In this video, I'm going to uh, show you uh, something called a sign out button within a Power Pages site. So I'm in the design studio for one of the Power Pages site and I've enabled uh, authentication uh, as you see over here. Now, when I preview the site, I can see a sign in button. So the moment I click on sign in, what happens is it will take you to the login page. Now I'm using an external account, which is I log in using an external Azure AD. So I've already logged into the system. Uh, so my credentials are all uh, fetched in and this uh, the portal will show this <coughs> screen. Okay, now I can navigate to the various sections over here. That's the menu. Uh, now, apart from that, you may not see this part, you know, like, uh, like a drop down, whereby you can view the profile and the sign out button. So sign out button is, you know, it's not visible okay for most of the power pages site out of the box so in order to enable the sign out button okay what you need to do is one is you need to go into the header of web template so i'm in the web templates now so i'm in the back end uh, site of power pages so i'm in the power pages management now if you don't know how to navigate that you need to go into the designer and then go into the portal management and once you are there, uh, you will be landed in web templates. Now in web templates, all the sign in, sign out configurations are stored in the header. So if I go in the header, and if I look into the code, uh, now I'm just scrolling down to the code. Now here I may find uh, a link called as uh, logout, okay? So now if you see here, this button sign out button will not be visible for you like when you first start provisioning this particular application okay now in order to make it visible what you need to do is you need to find this snippet and try to take this text link slash logout so it tries to look at look up this information in the snippet section now in the content snippet like if i go in the content snippet you will not find that link slash logout thing in your power pages management application okay so what you need to do if it is not there then you need to click on it and just type in link slash logout even display name you can keep it same website is your whatever website you select and the content snippet language is basically english for me now here under value what we can do we can put our own custom text so if i say i don't want sign out i want say log off okay look like, suppose this is the text which i want i can even configure this over here so let's see that in action i'll just save this and <clears throat> once this part is saved what will happen is uh, we need to go into the designer and then sync the configuration once the configuration is synced, we can just refresh the page and see if the changes persist or not. So it looks like the configuration changes has taken place. Let me refresh the screen. It might take a while to refresh, but once it is done, this particular text, as you see over here, it is changed to log off. Now, what we can do over here, if I click on it, this uh, application will then log off with my user credentials okay so uh, what essentially we have seen in this video is uh, i told you that many times you will not see the sign out button or the log off button how to enable it one thing is you need to go into the web template and find the snippet reference take that reference link slash logout and add a content snippet within there and once you add that content snippet your sign out button will be visible now you can also customize the text of the sign out button. If you don't like sign out, say log, you like log off or you mean, it can be any other text, you know, make that change, save it and sync your changes. Then definitely you're going to see that changes over here. So just for this purpose, I will just log off from the system and what essentially it will do, it will log you off from the application. So that's it folks. Uh, thanks for watching this video.